Okay, I am. I have been so excited to record this video because there's some cool stuff in here, mate. There really is going to be some cool stuff. You guys have sent me loads of emails again about UFOs and aliens. Literally, my emails have gone Mr. Bombastic and it's shimmy fantastic. Let me tell you, mate. All right. In this video, you're going to be seeing aliens, potential aliens from a while back that maybe we just totally didn't see, ignored or whatever. All right. We're going to be seeing... UFOs in my hometown. I'm going to be giving you links, really interesting links, um, so you can check things out yourself. I've been seeing debunking videos. Mate, all right, there's going to be a lot. I want to start off with taking you back in time, all right? I'm going to take you back in time to when, um, when the first... Can you remember the video in Los Angeles where um, a police officer saw this light going across the street and then he like two minutes later he gets um a call up to go to a a house where some kids said that they saw some nine foot aliens in their back garden can you remember that hang on i asked my missus right sorry about that where were we aliens in las vegas okay viva las vegas somebody sent me an email his name is matthew thank you very much matthew for sending me the email now, I thought this Las Vegas thing was all sort of done and dusted. Now, the footage that we've seen, most of, like, the, the viral footage is where the police officer speaks to the family at the front of their house, okay? Now, the footage that didn't go quite as viral is when they walked to the back of their house and they were walking through the, the, the gate telling the people that were recording what they saw and what happened. Now, when I saw this video breakdown, I couldn't believe it. I was like really like this is crazy and i need what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a live investigation okay we're gonna do a live comparison because when i saw it, i was like has this video been like doctored is it is it been changed manipulated to make it look like aliens all right so i've managed to find the original not, not the original but the unedited or the i was supposed to yeah the original bloody footage okay so, first of all, we're going to look at this video and see what this person has managed to find. And fair shout to him, mate. Right, this channel's called Victor Morales, right? Well done, Victor Morales. This is what he's checked out. This is what he's done. Check this out. Okay, so this is a very slowed down screen recording I took. And I know everybody is trying to find the aliens in front of these guys, but right. I noticed something insane. and I. First of all, can I just say, keep in mind, alien shadow right these nine foot shadow aliens watch want everybody my two friends who will watch this to take a look down uh, pay attention to two areas we're going to look down here on the bottom right behind their fence and right up there but we're going to first start down here because i found something crazy okay so it is. i want you to pay attention to what i believe is the creepiest part of this video and i'm going to point out Two things you need to pay attention to right here which is the head and if you look really close there's actually a shiny black eye and what you will see in about a minute is a hand that i believe is some creature non-human crouching down and that was its eye i just pointed at and i went right and i know what you're thinking i know what you're thinking ben what the f are you looking at because i was like what 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 but he's he, he draws a line around then it all of a sudden you see it right i need to pay attention to would appear to be fingers running up the fence as if it's kneeling down or something and peering out and then there you go see the fingers and i think i i go back and forth a couple times here but it looks to me like it, there's a little other or a big creature looking through the fence on the bottom there crouched down i mean maybe i'm wrong but you tell me and then there's his fingers going right up and yeah when i saw this i was like what the oh uh, wait just wait okay i was like what the actual f are we looking at here man now look right, hang on let me let me talk about it after this hang on up and down just looks like almost a human hand crawling up the fence and at the very beginning you see an eye and i think right here i show you the um the fingers um the fingers really of death to drawing over the fingers but you get it um so what's really interesting about this is 
it is happening next to them and kind of in front of them, but behind a fence. Um, yeah, the fingers are really crazy. So I think I'm going to show up one more time and then I zoom out and I'll show you what even made me realize this was here. Mate, so... that's absolutely mental. But wait to the end. And I, I, don't worry, I'm, I'm going to walk through this side by side with the original video to see if like what he's seeing is is correct. Okay, so see how many different times of looking. So what I noticed was if you look at the top right, look at the top right right now, there's actually a shadow figure. A It almost looks like it's a dense, shadowy figure comes into frame. If you're looking right if the, at the three fence posts, if you're looking at the top right of them, you're actually going to see something that looks like a shadow figure that has density, and it's only there for about a minute. And... When it walks in the frame, I think I'm just going to highlight it right here. I was doing the best I could on my phone. Um, I noticed there was movement below it. So I don't know if maybe the whatever creature was projecting a shadow up above it or something. Um, but see, there's the eye and the hands. But it also looks like there's another aspect to it, which is that shadow that you can clearly see walk in. I know everybody's looking for the alien in front of them, but there's one hiding next to them. Right, mate. Okay, well, so I just thought, really? Really? And literally, mate, today, about half an hour ago, I was like, well, I've got to find the original. Okay, I can't, for some reason, I can't find the original, but I've got this one, which is a lot better. Right, here we go. Right, look, 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 look. This, this is where it should pop up, and we see something down here. Right, here we go. All right, so there's nothing here right now, okay? There's nothing here, and there's nothing here. But look, hang on a second. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Wait. Hey! <laughs> so hang on, what happens? What actually happens? They, they go forward. He's got his bloody gun. And now he's walking backwards. Hey! Right, so he's, he's seen something, but... Right, when he starts walking backwards, right? Look! Mate, that actually looks like it's got eyes as well. You... What? Hang on. Oh my... No, mate, okay, calm down before... Is it just a shadow? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> and now let's look at the bottom. <laughs> I think that bottom bit's a shadow. <laughs> and this is the bit I actually, this part here, I actually thought that it was a, a a different family that um were jumping on top on the bandwagon saying oh yeah this is a, this is the nine foot alien i didn't actually know it was the same video this is where they see something else alien caught in the backyard now i edited it to see it clear and you can see a figure hiding behind the forklift what Oh, are we looking at this bit here? Let me see if it moves. Is it? Is it? Oh man, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hang on a second. Right. Let's just have a little look here. Now. Okay. Right. Let's see this thing. Let's see this thing. That, that shadow. I know they're holding torches, right? And flashlights and... But it just seems a bit of a too much of a thick mass. 
right? It, it just seems like it has a shape with, I'm not being funny, mate, but with, the, with mental eyes. Look at this thing, mate, with mental eyes. Is it just me? Let's just, hang on a second, hang on a second, mate. Hang on, let's just zoom in. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Zoom in a little bit more. Mate, we are full on investigating here. Look at this thing. Right, wait. Let's just, let's do the contrast. No. Do the highlights. Mate, that's, that just seems like something moving in, man. Okay, so hang on a second. So this, what we thought was an eye, looks like, so we've got, a bit of the the tree here. Let's um go slower. That it just seems a little bit suspicious. Right, okay, hang on. Let's now see what he's looking at down here. Now I gotta be honest with you, I think this one <clears throat> This part actually looks like it's the shadow. I know where he's getting at. I know what he's getting at, but this, that legit just looks like a shadow. That looks like the shadow as, as they're, as they're walking. But then it's weird how, hang on, so the light source is coming from this way, like the light is on the back of him. This is, you can see slightly his shadow here. But it's very weird how when this comes in, that comes in as well. All this in the in the cracks here. Let's see what he, this guy saw again, what he, he's thinking of the, the eye and everything like that. So this is what he thinks is the eye. And the fingers, but the things in the way. Mm, I don't know, man. I think that's re. I think that's reaching a little bit. I've got to be honest with you. I think that's reaching a little bit. Um, but I do think what's weird um, is this bit here. That to me is weird. Okay. Um, and then looking at, looking at this thing, I mean, clearly they're, they're seeing it, right? And they're, they're freaked out, but look at this. I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? All right. I, I've gone over that quite a bit now. All right. But I just thought that's really, really cool. Okay. Right, okay, so there's there's that, which I really wanted to show you, and I'm glad I have. So, the reason why I started Googling UFOs in Newquay is because a friend of mine, Laura Blake, all right, well done, thank you so much for sending me the link, mate. She sent me this video, and I was like, man, I've got to show people this. This is from a year ago, and it's only got 58 views, okay? <laughs> However, I was like, what? And I showed my mate it as well. And he was like, no way. And I showed my missus and she was like, no, that's just two planes. I'm like, is it though? Where's the other wings? So this is footage of a UFO going over my local beach or one of them, uh, like Tower Beach. This is crazy, right? Check this out. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> when she sent me that, I was like, holy moly. And did you hear the sound? Now, I know her. Okay, I know her. Like I said. And I really don't think she would have faked it. I really, I really don't. Right? Like, I'm, I'm telling you. 
I really don't think that she would have faked this. So, first of all, this is the first time I actually heard it up loud because the first time I saw it was actually on my mobile phone. But hear the sound of this, and and what do you think? The sound. Look! Look at this! Look, like, where's the other wings? Where's the where's the tail wing thing? The like we have got a plane chasing a UFO over Tower Beach and nobody's talking about it from a year ago. This is amazing. You can sort of just see something, right? Actually, you can just sort of see something. Or is that just is that just the light? Is that the light hitting the side of it? It's not very high though, is it, in comparison? So why is the light not on that? So the light is probably coming from this is why it's silhouetted. So the light is coming from this way. Hang on, where's the light? Where's the light? So the light's coming over here. So it's shining at the back of it, right? Look! <laughs> but even when it goes like over 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 there, like at some point, you're going to see a wing. Like, okay, fair enough. You don't see a wing right there now. Yeah? But you... They are literally in tandem. And you're not seeing this part. Or is it just a, an optical illusion? I like I'm not saying it I mean it could be an optical illusion but mate it's that's mad right okay so then after I started looking into like UFOs in Newquay I um I came across this one now this one that they're showing is not right this is Newquay okay this is Tower Beach um Great Western Tolkien I've got my very first barrel down there surfing um they they've shown pictures of uh of Newquay the National footage. 2020 on the coast of Cornwall in southwest England. A live webcam viewer is recording a gorgeous sunset. Right, this isn't Newquay, right? This is St. Ives. This is like 40 minutes down the road, okay? But check out this. This is from a couple of years ago, but mate, this is, this is mad. But the footage captures something more than a postcard-worthy seascape. A glowing orb races onto screen, hovers, then rockets straight up and out of frame. Watch again. Look, yeah, I am. Rapid deceleration and then vertical flight. It appears to rocket almost 3,000 feet straight up in less than a second. And then it stops as well midway. That indicates some sort of space. That's, that's mad. But the footage captures something more than a postcard-worthy seascape. A glowing orb races onto screen, hovers. I wonder if this person down here saw it. Then rockets straight up and out of frame. Watch again. Rapid deceleration and then vertical flight. It appears to rocket almost 3,000 feet straight up in less than a second. The um, um, honestly, man, I've since looking into these UFOs, I, I can't believe how many UFO sightings there are. It's, it's absolutely mad. And then uh, I this was something I just could not understand. And I suppose thinking about it, it's quite logical. On the, um, on the official UK government website right on the gov.uk website you can always go to dove.uk right and just type in search bar ufo right and you get ufo report of 2009 2007 2008 i don't know why it's not updated since then but you get to see everywhere in the uk where there's been reports of UFO sightings, the description, what they saw, when it was, all of this, mate, right? Look, look at this. Warwickshire air traffic control employee. Somebody just, you know, reported it. An orange glowing object with a red light on the right-hand side. And 
you know, what would be interesting is is going through these and finding sort of like either anomalies, if you want to try and find that, or similarities between, you know, all of these UFO sightings. But there's loads of it. It's free access, mate. Couldn't believe it. So anyway, I'll leave a link to that um, in the in the description. So um, what was it? a shape shifting UFO? What? Check this out. I, I couldn't believe this. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you another video come the end of somebody sent me um, a video clip of their cousin who's recorded something. Man, mind blowing, mind blowing. And again with sound, crazy. Right, check this out. Okay, so this is Edmonton, right? And they're going to talk about a UFO, a shape-shifting UFO. Around, yeah, around pretty there. much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Imagine finally being able to get onto a commercial flight, looking out your window and seeing this. This happened. I'm sorry. What is that? There's a passenger on the plane, looks I'm out the sorry. window, grabs the phone. This was filmed in June. The traveler sees that. An object apparently changing shapes in what? seconds. What? Oh, 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 oh. Is it a shape-shifting object? What is that? Is it that? Bezos? Is it Branson? What is it? Is it a UFO? Mal, go for I, it. What do you see? I yeah. have no... Okay, I'm looking at this for the first time. I want it to be surprised. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is this thing, mate? Look! Ass. No way! Oh, okay. that's crazy. So no, man. I don't. That could be anything. Honestly, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I don't know what that could be. There's. Someone said I. I read this little bit online, and someone said that maybe that's just the, the reflection off no the way. window of some. Uh, it, it could be. To be fair, I did think that. Right. I did think that it could be the reflection. Apparently, changing shapes in what? seconds. What? Oh, oh. But it seems like it's focusing out onto something right there's no reflection of the phone or anything like that it's just weird i wanted to show it it's a quick one right it's a quick one anyway okay so the jellyfish debunking right apparently this is getting a lot of traffic now about this thing is just totally debunked and people have been sending me emails and links about it on twitter i'm gonna gonna Make you listen to this guy who's debunking the jellyfish, and then I'm going to talk about it. All right. Now this is on channel Steve Mera official, so go and check him out. This is really interesting. Hi, I'm Steve Mera. On this particular video, what you're looking at now is a set of balloons just travelling through the air, and you can see it's a bunch of balloons travelling in the same direction as the wind. When we start to talk about the jellyfish UFO, the most recent thing that's been seen on the left, you can see the FLIR image, the infrared uh -huh. from the military on the right, a normal video camera of balloons and you can see that they actually do look very similar this caught my eye and i thought it must be balloons therefore when i actually started to check into the 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 video i believe i actually found an explanation and i believe it was actually just a uh, an eid al fatel celebration eid, the celebration of eid and yeah that... i sort of see that okay the, the 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 horns and not the horns but the the moons there i can see that and then like where it drops down the bottom here with the L touching this part here. And it got an E there. I can sort of see that. That takes place on the first week of October. You can see in this little piece of video as it's traveling over the base, a lot of people thought it was very, very mysterious. And it was also listed in October 2018, the incident. One particular officer has come forward and said it did not descend into water at the Habania Lake. It just drifted across the sky and carried on going until it was out of sight. And it is, to be fair, it is quite strange that we've not seen the footage of it going into the water for 17 minutes and coming out of it and then firing off. Picked up by this particular balloon. This is the PTDS surveillance balloon with cameras on board that filmed the whole event. Even the date was initially wrong. That incident took place in 2017, which falls into the military personnel's reports and details about the event. And of course, that actually was picked up again by the news and I made those alterations to 2017. This and, and the other thing is like, why, why didn't the military, because recently the military came out and they said, or, or the, the government, whatever, came out and said, we don't want to comment on the alleged UFO going over the military base. Why didn't they just say, it's fucking balloons. It's balloons, mate. It's this balloon. Right? Why didn't they just say it? Instead of saying, we don't want to comment on it. It's a bit weird, isn't it? This happens a lot, guys, and it can easily be done. 
do not believe everything that you're told about video footage when in fact you haven't got it checkable. In other words, did it really descend? Well, are we ever going to see this video of it descending into water? I don't believe so. I think in this case, we have a rational conclusions. It was simply a set of balloons. It's right, so, okay. <laughs> right, <laughs> let me just... So I got another link on, on X yesterday. It's sending me to the channel where these um, professional VFX um, people would analyze these ufos and say whether it's fake or real or something right and they also covered the jellyfish and they said yeah it's balloons now but the thing is right they're tightening it debunked which basically started a whole load of <laughs> a whole big discussion on twitter yesterday right, or x yesterday i don't think that you can claim that you've debunked something when it when you're like i understand educated guesses right it looks like balloons it's traveling the same speed as wind so it therefore it's balloons debunked got ya like i don't think you could just do that right and now i've got to be honest the more i'm seeing it the more i'm getting skeptical about it whether it is actually a ufo right the only thing that keeps me thinking it potentially could be a UFO is because out of all of these debunking and explanation of what it is, is one, like I say, the government hasn't just said, mate, it's just balloons. Okay, we've recorded it, it's just balloons. But the other one, the major one that nobody's talking about and can't or doesn't just talk about the debunking side of it is how can you explain the sudden temperature change between burning white yeah to super cold black where is that or is it the vice versa no white is hot right i i think yeah so I, but it changes within milliseconds back and forth back and forth so that's not been explained so i wanted to um talk about that because i thought that was quite interesting right our final one blink and you'll miss it mate this is mad this is from uh shinja says hi mate i will just shortly write that i love your show and watching it all the time thank you for so much <laughs> recently you were showing lots of ufo vids and it reminded me that a couple of years ago my cousin recorded this i think it's from 2019 thank you for reading this and i don't know if this is the right word enjoy your viewer okay <laughs> mate this is mad. Okay, I know. I, I, I know I say that a lot, but it is. Like, dealing with aliens and UFOs, mate, it is mad. Right, check this out. Blink and you'll miss it. Did you see that? And just looking at the way this person's recording just seems like he's not trying to find and, and look at a UFO. It's just something that happened. Watch if you missed it. There. Woo. Mate. Can you hear it as well? Uh, hang on. There. And you can hear it as well. There. Oh, mate, you can't pause it. It's going supersonic, man. It's going supersonic. Tell me what you think about that one as well. So there you go, mate. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching and also you sending me these video clips and, and links and stuff like that. It's amazing. Um, and also, if you do have any videos and clips that you want to send me about the weird and wonderful, strange things happening around the world, please send them my way at caspertube at hotmail.com. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.